Learn how to retouch skin professionally in Photoshop without making it look fake or blurry. In this Photoshop tutorial, you will learn how to reduce wrinkles and blemishes, airbrush skin naturally, dodge and burn and more using all non-destructive editing techniques. Once you learn this, you can make everything from natural skin improvements to glamorous airbrush skin used in advertising. To follow this tutorial, you'll need Photoshop CS2 or newer. How to Retouch Skin in Photoshop There are many ways to retouch skin, too many for us to teach. But in this tutorial, we'll show you the most popular ones and how you can combine them using non-destructive editing techniques so that you can go back to readjust the settings at any time. In the first step, you will learn how to use the yellow channel to reduce skin flaws quickly. This is a good technique to reduce freckles, wrinkles, and blemishes if you don't have a lot of time. In the second step, you will learn how to clone out wrinkles and blemishes on a separate layer. Next, you will learn a professional airbrushing technique that's popular in the advertising industry. They use this to make skin look perfect without making it look plastic or blurred. In step four, we'll be using an easy trick to reduce skin discoloration and oiliness. Finally, we'll complete the image with some dodging and burning to manipulate the shape of the face without warping or liquefying any parts. Once mastered, you can combine any or all of these five techniques to get anything from natural-looking skin improvements to perfect-looking airbrush skin. Step 1. Reducing skin flaws quickly Start by opening the photo that you want to edit into Photoshop. Your photo should be high resolution with visible skin details. We're going to start with a subtle skin retouching method that uses the yellow channel to reduce skin flaws. To do this, go to Image, Mode, CMYK mode. Go into the Channels panel and click on the yellow channel. Copy this channel by pressing Ctrl or Command A to select the entire image, then Ctrl or Command C to copy. Press Ctrl Alt Z or Command Option Z on Max to undo your steps until you're back in RGB mode. Once you're back in RGB mode, press Ctrl or Command V to paste the yellow channel as a new layer. Rename this layer to Flaws. Invert the layer by pressing Ctrl or Command I, then change the blending mode to soft light. There's an improvement in the skin tones, but it looks a little too strong. To correct this, reduce the opacity until you get the results that you like. Next, add an inverted layer mask by holding the Alt or Option key and clicking on the Add Layer Mask icon in the Layers panel. Make sure your foreground color is white. Then select the brush tool and paint around the skin using a soft round brush. We're done with this layer. Here's the before and after of this effect. The skin looks slightly improved, but there's a lot more we can do to improve it. This technique is great for reducing skin flaws quickly if you don't have much time. Step 2. Cloning out wrinkles and blemishes. Next, we're going to clone out any wrinkles and blemishes that you want to remove or reduce. We're going to use this photo to demonstrate this technique. It already has the previous step applied. Cloning out wrinkles and blemishes is easily done with the Spot Healing Brush Tool, but we're going to do it on another layer so that we adjust the opacity of the layer later on. Select the background layer, then press Ctrl or Command J to duplicate the layer. Rename the new layer to Wrinkles and Blemishes. Select the Spot Healing Brush, then paint over the wrinkles and blemishes to remove them. You can resize your brush by pressing the left bracket key to make your brush smaller or the right bracket key to make it bigger. When you're done, you can reduce the opacity of the layer to bring back some of the wrinkles and blemishes. For our photo, we'll need to reduce the opacity quite a bit for it to look realistic. If you want more control, you can add a layer mask by clicking on the Add Layer Mask button in the Layers panel. Fill the layer mask with gray by pressing Shift Backspace to bring up the Fill tool. Then set the contents to 50% gray and click OK. Select the brush tool and paint over the areas with white or black. Step 3. Airbrushing Skin Next, we're going to airbrush the skin. For this step, we're going to demonstrate it to you using this photo that already has the previous steps applied. Before we airbrush, we're going to merge the three layers into a smart object. This is so that you can edit the airbrushing layers at a later time, without having to redo everything. To convert your layers into a smart object, 
Hold Control or Command and select all the layers. Right-click on a layer, then choose Convert to Smart Object. Rename this layer to Original. To airbrush skin, we need to use two layers. One to smooth the skin and another to restore back the skin details. We're going to work on the skin smoothness first. Select the original layer, then press Control or Command J to duplicate it. Rename this layer to Smoothness. With the new layer selected, go to Filter, Blur, Surface Blur. Set the threshold value to 255 levels, then adjust the radius so that you can barely make out the face. Next, reduce the threshold value until you can just start to make out the details. The skin should still be blurry. Click OK to apply the filter. Now we're going to work on the second layer, which will bring the skin details back. Select the original layer, then press Ctrl or Command J to duplicate it. Move this layer to the top, then rename it to Details. Go to Filter, Other, High Pass. Adjust the radius setting until you can see the skin details like this. Click OK to apply the High Pass filter. Change the blending mode to Hard Light. We now have airbrushed skin, but it looks way too strong. To correct this, we're going to use a layer mask to paint in the spots that we want to apply the skin airbrushing to. Hold the Control or Command key to select the smoothness and details layers. Press Control or Command G to group them. Rename this group to Airbrushing. Add an inverted layer mask by holding the Alt or Option key and clicking on the Add Layer Mask button in the Layers panel. Make sure your foreground color is set to white. You can do this quickly by pressing D on your keyboard.